Welcome to my channel. This is Grace Manzi here. In the video today, I'll be showing you how to make a gypsy skirt. Right, you're going to need your fabric. In my case, I needed two contrasting fabrics. You can either use one or three, depending on your choice. So, you're going to need your fabric. You're going to need matching thread your pins uh, elastic for the waistband and a tape measure the skirt cutting out plan is as follows the first tire length is waist circumference times one and a half width skirt length divided by three plus one and a half inches for the waistband one inch seam allowance second tire length is going to be the length of the first tire times two and the width is going to be the total skirt length divided by three plus one inch seam allowance and the third tire is going to be the first tire's length times three okay that's the length of third tire and the width is going to be total skirt length divided by three plus one inch seam allowance now i've done cutting out the skirt as planned okay so this is the first tire the second and the third right what i'm going to do next is to join the the second tire put two lines of gathering stitches on here same as on the third tire two lines of gathering stitches there as well i'm not going to put any gathering stitches on the first tire because i'm going to fold back the two inches where i'm going to put the elastic casing okay so that's what i'm going to do now now as you can see i've put gathers here on the second tire and I've, i'm supposed to pull these gathers to match with the edge of the first tire so to achieve that quickly and easily all you do is fold this in half okay like this take your chalk mark here right okay mark this end right mark this edge here that's three and finally mark here okay so after marking those this should be matching with the other one at the back there okay right can you see the marks e one two three okay and the one at the back here so what you do is you fold also this in half okay fold it in half right so instead of putting a mark you put a pin put a pin here okay and another pin inside just catching one layer not not joining them together okay like that can you see that okay you come to this end here you put a pin here on this fold okay so you've got four pins one more here okay right so with the right side facing like this okay this point matches with that point here okay you move the pin and pin on the wrong side like that okay where you have the pin this side can you see the pin is here move it out move it to the wrong side and match it with the the point that one which you marked with the chalk okay like that okay and then same on this other side take this side match it with that 
where you mark you put a mark there okay take the pin out mark here right so this is one side you're going to do the same with the other side but let's work with one portion at a time okay so what you do is you take another pin okay pull the threads like I'm doing right pull two threads from the top line and the bottom line of the gathering stitches as you can see I've, like what I've done here okay let me pull them so you can like, literally see the two threads okay once you've got your two threads like this okay you're going to start pulling them right pulling them to match this quarter of the first tie okay so that's what i'm going to do now i'll show you when i've done all the, the, the way around okay as you can see the first quarter is matching okay so what you do is you secure the gathers first okay like i'm doing look where the pin is so you move your thread up and down up and down two three or four times okay once you've done that you can now even out the gathers make sure they are well evened out because they are going to match with the first quarter of the bottom tire here first tire okay so it's easy you just spread them out evenly you know yeah, spread them out easily like i'm doing okay it's quite a process but that's all you cannot run away from it once you've done that the next thing you do is get some pins okay pin on the wrong side here to secure your gathers in place okay can you see that still evening them out A very it can be a very long process if the tires are very long but this is how you do it, how it is done okay so our first quarter is done okay so I'm going to do the same thing with this part here as you can see the gathers have not been done yet and that one and same as the other side until we we done we've done evening out the gathers all the way around okay okay so that's our first tire joined to the first second uh, tire so the next thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and so and make it half an inch seam allowance and join them two together okay so when I'm done with that, I'm going to put gathers here on the third tire, same as I did with that one, and put, put um, join it to the second tire like that, okay? So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, now after finally getting the third and second tire put together, the next thing I'm going to do now is to go to the overlocker and tidy up the seams. As you can see, they are not tidy. And then after that, I'll come back and do the waist bend. The next thing you do is cut out elastic, which is equivalent to your waistline plus one inch. I've cut out mine, which is 37 inches long 
because my waistline is 36 inches okay and for the waist bend I'm going to be folding back one and a half inches like that okay and pin around to make the waist bend that's where I'm going to put the elastic and the hem is just going to be half an inch folded back like that okay then I'll show you when the skirt is done and here is my finished skirt thank you for watching